Geekom follows Asus to be one of the first brands on the market with Intel's latest 200 series processor. The IT15 Mini is the successor to the IT13 as the 14 looks to have been skipped over. Oh. So what else has changed over the IT12 and 13 we've looked at already? Well, comes in a new color. Mmm, black, my favorite. Now it looks exactly like an Intel NUC 13 Pro minus the logo on top and SD card slot on the side. So that means a plastic shell with metal reinforcement inside and a metal bottom lid. There are also some other updates to the feature set which we'll go over. The model we're looking at features Intel's Core Ultra 9285H which is a CPU we've already benchmarked and will be compared. Integrated graphics is handled by Intel's Arc second generation architecture known as Battle Mage. As with all recent Geekon minis, this one has a compact 19 volt 120 watt power supply and also comes with a HDMI cable, visor mount and screws. At the time of this review, the lowest price IT15 is on Amazon.com for around 950 US dollars for 2 terabytes of storage and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Geekon provided me with a coupon to share with you which takes off another 10%. So that brings it down to around 855 US dollars. And like the ASUS NUC 15 Pro Plus we'll be comparing against, Geekom includes a 3 year warranty which is longer than other brands we look at. I've already mentioned the SD card reader which is very useful for those wanting to use the mini for photo or video editing. The IT15 also comes with two USB 3 10 gigabit type A ports and a 3.5mm audio jack. Geekom has thrown in an Intel Wi-Fi 7 chip for wireless and Bluetooth. The back has dual USB 4 40 gigabit with the left one supporting USB-C power delivery. It worked fine with my USB-C monitor. A pair of HDMI ports are included but only 2.0 spec and there's another 10 gigabit USB 3 port as well as a USB 2. For wide LAN, Geekom has gone with Intel 2.5 gigabit. Let's take a look inside. It's nice and easy to open the IT15 with just four screws and then pull on the bottom plate. SSD thermal pads connect to it for cooling, although a second one is not included. The main M.2 storage slot is a 2280 PCIe Gen 4x4, while the secondary slot is a 2242 M.2 SATA. You may have also spotted the M.2 wireless card under the main slot. The ASUS NUC 15 Pro Plus reviewed previously featured the same CPU, but the review unit had DDR5C Sodom 6400. Geekom includes DDR5 Sodom 5600. The Sodom availability is really poor at the moment, so I'm not surprised. Windows 11 Pro is included with the IT15, and a malware and rootkit scan came back clear. Ubuntu works fine with the IT15 if you don't want to use Windows. Alright, on to the benchmarks. Let's see how the Geekom IT15 holds up against the ASUS NUC 15 Pro Plus, a direct competitor. In single core Cinebench, they're about the same, until performance mode is enabled, and then the ASUS manages to squeeze out a 3% victory. In a Cinebench multicore, we see a larger difference between the two units out of the box. This time the ASUS is ahead by 27.5%. After tweaking the BIOS to a higher performance mode on both minis, the ASUS NUX lead dropped to 16%. Geekom's IT15 has a win in Geekbench single core with a 5% improvement in score and also did really well in the short Geekbench multicore test where the ASUS NUX is only ahead by just over 3%. Out of the performance numbers and the lead for the ASUS NUX drops to just over 2%. While Geekom's IT15 did fine there, the handbrake video encoding test tells a bit of a different story, with the IT15 falling down the list and the ASUS NUC showing similar gains as it did with Cinebench. Increasing the power mode does wonders for the IT15, with the time to encode drastically reduced. This is also what happened with the long AV1 encoding test, where the ASUS NUC shaved almost 100 seconds off the encode. The Geekom cut the margin down substantially with the increased performance profile. Geekom's IT15 performed better than any other Intel 200 series in the AV1 quick sync encoding test. It also benefited from the performance profile, putting it as the fastest at this task. 
This might come down to driver updates, but I don't have the ASUS NUX to retest and confirm. In any case, being faster is what you'd expect from the 200 series. Geekbench AI has the IT15 slightly behind the ASUS NUC. Increasing the performance profile didn't make a difference. Switching to AI GPU shows a huge increase in half precision over the ASUS Mini, which did poorly. I remember testing it more times than usual to double and triple check this anomaly, but it was correct at the time. I'll put it down to something broken in the GPU driver, which has since been fixed. The IT15's 3D Mark V strike score is low compared to the ASUS using the same DDR5 5600 RAM speed. It managed an extra 10%. And with CSODEM 6400 RAM, the ASUS almost hit 10,000 points for another 3% improvement. Switching to 3D Mark Times Y, and it's a draw with a faster RAM giving the ASUS NUC a boost. Steel Nomad Lite is another DX12 benchmark which mimics the TimeSpy results. So apart from the below par Firestrike DX11 score, the Geekom IT15 matches the ASUS NUC with the same memory speed. For the game tests, I'm going to throw in the previous generation Intel flagship and the ASUS NUC with faster memory so you can see how it scales. Starting with eSports, a better average and 1% low for the ASUS NUC in Valorant, which is what you're going to see pretty much across all the games. Defend yourself. Now we're switching to some AAA titles. And here's emulation. Overall, the faster RAM found in the ASUS NUC review unit does make a noticeable difference. You can also use an eGPU on the IT15 using USB 4. Here, I'm testing it with an RTX 4070 Super. Alright, that's enough of the games. Let's see the audio and video side. Latency Mon checks for audio latency, and I use Cinebench in the background to push the system. The IT15 fails the test quickly, and in this case, it's thermal throttling under load. Moving on to Adobe Photoshop, which relies heavily on the CPU. Out of the box, the IT15 performs similar to the AMD Ryzen H255. It only gets an actual win with the increased performance profile. In Adobe Premiere, the IT15 is beaten out of the box, but gets around 10.5% better score in performance mode. It's good to see Geekom includes a fast Gen 4 NVMe drive, taking one of the top spots in the storage benchmark. It didn't thermal throttle when thrashed for 30 minutes either, thanks to the bottom metal plate acting as a heatsink. Bluetooth range is excellent, and up there with the ASUS NUX. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about wireless range. I was unable to play a game of Valorant at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. Instead, the game client kicked me out for the poor connection with huge latency issues. Idle power draw is really good, coming in at just 7 watts on the IT15. While with maximum power draw, the ASUS NUC goes for max performance and draws a lot, while the Geekom uses less in both modes and stayed under 100 watts. CPU temp maxed out at 104C in both modes, same as it did with the ASUS NUC 15 Pro Plus, and that is the highest on the list. Fan noise is definitely another weak point. 
44 dBA is higher than average for the balance mode, and performance mode is only topped by four other minis. Geekom's IT15 takes up slightly less volume than the ASUS competitor at 0.6 litres, but it's not a big difference. The delete key on startup will get you into the BIOS. In advance, power management control, you'll find wake on LAN and AC power loss options. In hardware health configuration is the fan option, which also toggles the power limit. Okay, we've looked at plenty of data for the IT15. Here are my pros and cons. It's good to see another mini with Intel's Arrow Lake CPU. The IT15 supports USB-C power delivery and has an SD card slot. It comes with a compact power supply and Bluetooth range is really good. And just like the ASUS Mini we compared against, the Geekom IT15 comes with a 3 year warranty. However, wireless range is not good, fan noise is high, as is CPU temp under load. And while it comes with a 2TB SSD and 3 year warranty, it's still a pricey option when you compare to other high end AMD Ryzen units. But it is cheaper than the ASUS Mini PC, as you'll only get a bare bones for this price. So that's the Geekom IT15, one of two Intel Arrow Lake mini PC options we've looked at so far. If you want something lower priced or don't need the fastest, then you might be interested in Geekom's recently released IT13 2025 edition. You can find that review right here. Cheers!